I am going to tell you the reasons that it is very unlikely that you will see real money by licensing your idea. So this subject has been coming up a lot in the comments section and I want to talk about it again. I've been doing a little bit of research and have been seeing that if you go out and try to license your invention idea, you're going to get about three to five percent for your invention. Now when I say three to five percent, what do I mean? There's an old trick in the movie industry and I think it applies here too. Young filmmakers would go out, they'd get excited, they'd write their movie script, and a few of them would go to, let's say, one of the film festivals. And then a movie studio would come along and buy their script. The typical range that a studio would pay for those scripts is anywhere from 25,000 to, let's say, 300,000 up front for the script. And for the filmmaker who is broke, that's a lot of money right there. But they would also sign a contract that would say that they would get, say, anywhere from 1% to 3% of what they call the back end. Well, that back end is an interesting thing. So let's say the movie gets released and it makes $100 million. There have been quite a few low-budget films over the year that have been very successful. And there were young filmmakers that had licensed their script to those movie companies. So imagine the movie does $100 million and this filmmaker is all excited because he's doing the math and he says $100 million, he's gonna get 3%. Oh my God, he's getting $3 million, he's rich. <laughs> Did you know that even George Lucas got involved with a product licensing deal? Just watch the documentary on Netflix called The Toys That Made Us. It took him a long time to get back the rights and make real money on his products. That's the trick. So here's how it really works. So remember, the movie made $100 million, but that was in ticket sales. It's changed a lot now, but years ago it was typical that the box office would split the proceeds with the studio. So $100 million would basically be $50 million for the studio and $50 million for the distributors. But here's where the math even gets worse. So we're at $50 million. There's also a lot of marketing and expenses to go into making that movie popular. Not to mention the distribution of the films back then, and now video, but back then it was film reels. And by the time you were done with all the expenses, you're looking probably at about $20 million on a 100 million film that the studio made. But then, don't forget, you have all the business expenses that go on with that. We're talking about the overhead at the studio, the employees, the expenses for the graphics, the television commercials, to everything that had to do with making that film, down to the catering. So think about that. Every single expense came off the top. By the time the young filmmaker got their paycheck, it was only a few dollars, and actually not a few dollars, it's probably a couple of thousand, maybe a hundred thousand if they were lucky, but that 3% really turned out to be a lot less than they had anticipated. And when we're talking about licensing our product ideas, we're talking about the exact same thing. So you go out there and you license your product idea. Let's say you are lucky enough to get 5%. What does that 5% mean? Is that 5% of the gross? Is that 5% of the net? Is that 5% of the profits? Read your contract, you might be surprised. So let's take an item that sells for, and when we're talking about licensing, I'll pick a typical number. Let's say we're talking about an item that sells for $25. That's retail price but maybe it only costs $10 to make in China or whatever, we'll just use that number. Remember, you have a whole distribution chain in between. So really, you're talking about a $10 product that it cost you to make that we're selling to distributors probably for between $12 and $15, and then they're retailing at $25. So you're really only making a few dollars on each item even when it's selling for 25. If a company is making a product for $10, they still have the cost of distributing it. That's all the employees that were used to advertise the product to potential resellers. That's all the advertising that goes into them, marketing them online, television, radio, print material, however they do their marketing. All the employees that were used to you know, sell your product, to stick it into boxes, to put it on trucks, 
the expense of the gas to get the truck from one distribution to the other, the expense of the union truck driver to get him to drive the truck from one distribution place to another. By the time you get any money for your invention idea from licensing, there is nothing left. And I'm actually gonna do another video about this, and it's gonna be about the taxes. As a small business owner, and when I say small business, that can be a business that's making you know $100 million. In America, that's still probably considered a small business if they're making $100 million a year. Even if that business is making all kinds of money selling products, unless they're publicly traded, the last thing they wanna do is to claim a profit on anything because that means that they have to pay taxes on that money. So as a business owner, it is a business person's job to take any profits from the things that they make or do and to reinvest them in the business to make the business grow so that they can make more revenue keep the money within the business and pay little in terms of profit. Now for you guys that are all about you know greedy corporations and you don't wanna hear this, I'm sorry, but that's the way it works. The more revenue that my company makes, the more money that I begin to spend on the business. And as a country, wherever you're located, that's what you want businesses to do because we can spend the money better than our governments. We can hire people, we can buy real estate, we can invest in technology, we can invent new things. That's what we do with money that we keep instead of paying taxes. And where does the money that we pay taxes go? Really think hard about this. Are we investing in the future of our country or are we investing in the future of our government? Because if you pay taxes, you know that your money is better spent by you than anybody around you in government. You know, if the guys from all these other invention shows haven't found my channel yet, they're gonna be hearing a lot of me pulling the curtain away and showing what they are doing to you as the inventor. And I hope you're listening. I hope you hear what these people are doing to you. Yes, they may be making you a little money, but you can make more for yourself. Just like you can spend your money better than the government can, you can earn your money better than those licensing people can help you to make money.